Hey traders, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can create dynamic on off switches in PineScript. And I'll be applying this method in an indicator in which we'll be changing the source of the moving average from high to low based on the conditions that we provide. So it's just like turning a switch on or off. When the switch is on, our source for EMA will be the high of the candle and when the switch will be turned off the source will change from high to low and the calculations will be done based on that in real time so without wasting any time let's get started first of all let's go ahead and get the inputs that we need in this case uh, let me just zoom in a little bit so that you can see it more clearly so here we can see we have the input of length for calculating the moving average and then we have the factor the volatility factor that we want to use in order to calculate the moving average you'll be able to understand this once we have completed the indicators next what we want to do is we want to create the conditions for our switch to be on or off and those conditions will be based on the type of candle that is forming in the market so first let's define a variable that is up bar and it stores a boolean var a variable that is true or false based on the nature of the candle so if the candle is a bullish one like we can see the candles here these ones are bullish these ones are bearish so if the candle is a bullish this up bar variable will be true and if the candles are bear bearish this up bar variable will be false so based on this we want to define the trigger conditions and in the trigger on we want to set three consecutive bars that is this bar 0 1 and 2 to be bullish so if latest three bars are bullish this trigger on will be true and if it's not if there is any bearish candle within these then it will be false and for trigger off we want the not a bar and not a bar one that is we want the latest two candles to be calculations for this variable so if the latest two candles are bearish then we want this to be on so now we have the conditions that is trigger on when we want to keep the trigger on when there are three consecutive bullish candles and we want to keep the trigger off when there are two consecutive bearish candles in the market now moving on let's go ahead and define our variable so this is very important and this is actually all it comes down to so here we have created the on off switch as a boolean and we have assigned it a value false but you can see this variable var keyword that is very important and our whole dynamic scripting depends on this in PineScript what happens is at the end of the close of candle all the script gets refreshed and all the variables are returned to their normal defined state that are in the script so there's no dynamic conditions that can we can give to these normal variables but when we put a var keyword var keyword before the variable name then what happens is if this variable was true at the cl close of this candle then this value will continue to the next candle as well if it's false then on the next candle it will be also false so what it does is it helps the variables maintain their values so initially we have set the on off switch to false condition and this false value will be assigned to this and this variable this var keyword maintains the state of whatever is assigned to this so based on our condition we want the trigger this switch to be on if this trigger on condition is true so we have given that or we want it to be false if this is true so in order to assign this condition we have given it on off switch and not trigger off so if this is true then this switch will be false and if this is true then this on off switch will be true as well so now what we have done is we have created our conditions for dynamic variable as, uh, for creating the on off switch now let's use this and try to implement 
this in our indicator. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and plot the color, change the color. If the on off switch is true, then we want to change the background color. And also we want to plot the shape saying either the tr trigger is on or off based on the candles. We'll check that manually. And here we want to change the source based on this on off switch as I described earlier. So what will happen is if this on off switch is true, then we want the source of this moving average to be high off the candle. And if the on off switch is false, then we want the low of the candle to be the source of this moving average. And then in the end, we are plotting a moving average. So let's add this indicator to the chart and let's see what happens. So here we can see that the on off switch is true based on our conditions and it becomes false if there are two consecutive bearish candles. And when it's true, the exponential moving average has a high as the source. And if the switch is false, then the source changes from high to low based on the candle that is forming in the market. So this is how you can create the dynamic on all switches in PyScript. I hope you understand the concept. And if you have any questions, please comment down below. I would love to answer them. Thank you.